Let's ride. What's up, guys? Thanks for tuning in. As we go into the woods off the snowmobile trail, I'm not going to call it a stealther, but we were kind of hiding from sleds, man. It was a good time. Huge amount of snow. It was awesome. We did a camp. We used a hot tent. We did a cook. We got some good action, man. We got some good animals. I heard some coyotes howling. You'll see that, man. That was pretty badass. If you like what you're seeing, do me a favor, smash that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. Give me them subbies. Subscribe. We're really growing. I got some swag coming out. Everything's coming, man. Spring's coming. Camping season, hiking season's starting again. Can't wait to get back out there. I'll see you out there. So we're right near a snowmobile trail. I don't know if you can hear them. They're coming from over there on the trail. It comes right over here. It actually goes this way. So we came in from back there. There's a little bit of marsh over here. This looks like a decent flat spot, so I'm going to trample it down even better. And then we're going to set up the hot tent. So I came out here to take some pine boughs off the fallen tree so I have something to rest the wood stove on so it doesn't go through three feet of snow.
so they just went by. I can't guarantee I didn't get seen there. One of those sleds had a passenger and she was looking right this way. I'm a big giant black spot, man. With some orange. All right, I got some pine bows, man. Pine boughs, is it boughs? Boughs, bows, whatever. You guys remember the stove jack? So this one has the damper, it'll go first. We're getting that gangster lean, man. A little crooked. We'll straighten that out. So what are we doing? We came into the woods with the hot tent, man. We brought the uh, the wood stove. Uh, I got the sled. I'm going to go back and get some wood. Yeah, we came out to this place. It's kind of near like a snowmobile trail, and I'm just in the middle of the woods. And uh, we're just going to we're just gonna chill, man. We're going to cook. I brought a dank beer. Now I got to get firewood, and then we're going to cook, all right? Looks like there's some marsh here, but right now it's just three feet of snow. So, put on the snowshoes, and trudged on in, man. Let's go get some wood. Full disclosure, I brought some wood from home, man. Um, I had a feeling today was going to be some work, man. So, if I had to cut wood on top of it, it'd be late, man. It'd be late before I even got done. If it matters, I did chop and split this myself. Camp set up, good enough, man. It's like probably freezing out. It's a, no, it's a little above. 35 degrees. Not too bad. The snow's pretty granular. You know, it's not warm. But I'm going to take a walk just to feel like I did something besides work. So what's crazy is that there was no trail at all when we came in, man. This is just me stomping it down. So I'm coming out to a snowmobile trail. We're going to walk on that and we should be able to do it without snowshoes. Because they get clunky after a while. Snowmobile trail. I was able to duck under this pine. He shot that off. All right, so I think they went down that snowmobile trail and just stopped again, but they're further away now. That was close, man. I could smell their exhaust. I could hear them talking.
sled was going that way. So I just dipped into the woods. All right, it was a good walk, man. Nice day. I'm getting a little chilly now because I stopped sweating, so time to go in. We'll start the fire and uh, get warm. Oh, wait a minute, it's almost be a 30. Dude, we'll have a danky and then we'll cook some yummy food, all right? Let's go. I'm gonna go collect some uh, small kindling and we're gonna, we're gonna start a fire. See that new knife? Sharp. Wow. You know, I used to not geek out on the sunsets too much, but I think that's because I hadn't seen enough cool ones. This one's pretty cool, man. It's like pink. Wow, huh? I wanted to get that sunset in that shot, man. Let's see if the beer is as good as the sunset. So what do we got? What do we got today? Today I got Big Wing Haze IPA. It says Hazy Juicy IPA. This is by Stony Creek Brewery. I can't read it. It looks like they're in um, Connecticut. Stony Creek. Yep, in Connecticut. And you know I like it hazy. Juicy. Perfect. Ooh, 9.3%. It's a good thing we don't have anywhere to be today, huh? Yep. Hazy. <laughs> I smell mango, I smell grapefruit. It smells real juicy, man. Yeah, I smell that that pureed mango in there. That it's that smooth. Thought I heard a pheasant taking flight. Oh yeah, man. Tropical. Juicy. Not really bitter, man. It's all juice. There's a little bit of booziness to it, I can tell right now. There's a little bit of booziness. At 10 point or 9.3%, yeah, it's, it you can taste the booziness, which isn't bad. I mean, I've had 13 percenters. That's too much, man. Too much for a beer. Yeah, extremely juicy. Really, really sweet. Good. With a finish that, that's where the boozy comes in, man. So I don't think I love the finish too much. It's not bad. I mean, it's still juicy and tropical, but it just hits you a little bit. Big Wing Hazy IPA. That's everything I like, man. Definitely mango. Definitely grapefruit. Citra hops. You know that's what we like, man. You can tell this is a big, big boozy one, man. I wouldn't have two of these and take a drive, that's for sure. Only brought one. <laughs> I ain't driving anywhere anyway. I'm snowshoeing out of here. Yeah, it's good. It's, a good. it's good. I like it, man. Just comes up a little boozy, you know, like five seconds after. And you're like, okay, I got you on that. But it's great going down, man. I bet you this thing surprises you, though. <laughs> I bet you'd be singing karaoke after a few of these. <laughs> you didn't even see it coming. That's what happens with these big ones, man. I don't. I didn't see where it said double. No, it just says hazy, juicy IPA. Man, that's really, really a lot of booze for a single. Like one of those birds that looks too big to fly. You won't believe how far off the ground this juicy, hazy IPA takes you. That's perfect, man. I could totally believe that.
You'll be flying high, man, singing songs at karaoke and embarrassing yourself, I'm sure. <laughs> Too many of these. That's good, though. That's a good beer. Stony Creek, man. Tastes good out here in the woods. So what are we going to give it, huh? Untapped? One through five? Untapped. Well, I can, I'm can. i still getting that, that boozy finish, which, you know, I don't love. So, but the, I mean, the upfronts are, they nail it, but but they don't they don't kill it on the up on the uh, on the aftertaste, and it's a little bit heavy. It's a little bit boozy, man. If you have, if, have I said that yet? Because it's got some faults. I mean, it's very good, but it's got some faults. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it three point seven five. Okay, we'll put that in the books. Three point seven five. Big Wing. Hayes IPA, Stony Creek. Man, good job. 3.75. That's nothing to, nothing to cry about. Nothing to cry about. But, I mean, I think it should be a double for that amount of alcohol. All right, I'm going to have a little bit more. I got to get the lights out so we can do some uh, cooking and get that fire stoked. It's getting a little chilly. It's probably a, a, just below freezing. I got the, the temperature thingy inside. Yeah, it's good, man. You probably can't hear it, but we got owls. Owls are back. We're going to start cooking soon. We're doing a stir fry with riced cauliflower. I'll let you know what I think. This is um my secret recipe. This is uh <coughs> excuse me, garlic powder, salt, pepper. Really a bunch of stuff I had laying around. Get that flavoring going. Found this cool log in my pile. I figured it's a good cutting board, right? I mean, that's a, that's a lot of peppers. I think we'll save the red one. This is shallots. Put those veggies on. Deglaze it. Just a little bit of soy. Dude, this thing is so sharp. Like, I'm barely touching it. Ready? Put that steak on there. Last bit of soy sauce in there. We're getting there. See if there's a little cut to try. Try that. Oh, it's almost perfect. Almost perfect. Mm. I'm just gonna put it into a pot for now. Because we gotta cook the rice. Or the cauliflower, or whatever the whatever it is. Whatever it's called. That's close. Coyote was close, man. I bet you he wasn't 40 yards away. He's gonna be smelling this. There was others with him, but there was one right over there, man. That was close. 
Just add a little Parmesan, finish it off. Actually, it's cauliflower, so add a lot of Parmesan, whatever. Let's plate it up, man. Do it like this. What do you think? It smells, it smells awesome. Once you add the Parmesan, makes the whole thing. I used about probably a little over a tablespoon of Parmesan. The steak with the soy sauce is perfect, man. This is very, very good. This coyote's gonna love it. <laughs> They're gonna love Hoppy too. They ain't getting them. They ain't getting them. Hoppy's ready. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna eat. It's good. So that was a car going by. Tell me you saw the headlights, because I saw them. Actually, glad the propane went out. The lantern went out. It ran out of propane. That happens all the time. What's up, guys? How about them uh, coyotes, man? That was crazy, huh? They were close. There was one, like, 40 yards away. Or probably not even. You know, that was crazy. And um, a couple cars going by. Uh, the owls, that was cool, wasn't it? Good to hear them again, man. That was probably the closest to like, like coyotes, like multiple that I've been in a long time, man. Like unnervingly close, like that thing was close, man. I was surrounded by coyotes once. Probably the scaredest I've been in the woods, man. We were on, we were in this this cellar pit, like which is just rock lined cellar from like the 1700s or something. And it was on the mound, top of a mound. And then, and then there was a ring of mountains around it. We were just chilling in the cellar pit at night. Spring, as usually happens, one starts it and then they all go. Ooh. And then so one started it and it was like, oh. And then, like, they just were howling. And it sounded like there was a hundred of them, man. And it was just a ring of them. That was rough, man. That was rough. It was me and my friend. I had a couple friends with me. Um, I don't, my brother wasn't there. I don't think so. Were you there, Barley Bro? Oh, but man, it was it was crazy. So let's not do that again, man. It's probably twenty one thirty right now. So bump it ahead because it's actually that means it's ten thirty at night. Anyway, just gonna chill, man. I'll bring you back if anything happens. Morning, guys. Uh, it was cold. It was cold overnight. But I need a sleeping mat, like a, an insulated one or something. Keep the cold from coming up, man. You slept pretty good. Let's get up, get moving, man. Found some Hoppy Camper's beard, man. Sun feels good, man. It's that March sun that you just know is spring's coming. It don't look like it, but it's higher and it melts more. All about it, man. 
It has been a good winter. I mean, it started out bad. It turned out all right. We did some camping. I'm ready to start hiking again, man. Bring you along. Coffee's good, man. I'm just going to chill. Enjoy the sun. Get that vitamin D I haven't seen since Aruba. And then we're going we're gonna to pack up and hit the road. Like, believe it or not, you got to be careful on days like this. Like, the sun reflecting off the snow. It just, you get a sunburn quick. You need sunscreen on days like this. Isn't that awesome? That sun, man, it just warms you up. That's what it would like, look like if Hobby Camper Jeep had a baby. A little baby Hobby Camper Jeep. <laughs> 